This one will undoubtedly make your mind tickle. A thief broke into a house and robbed it one night. The next day, he broke into two houses, robbed everything, and fled. On the third day, he broke into three houses and stole all of the cash and valuables. On the fourth day, he went into four houses and did the same thing. Detective Mayhul decides to get to the bottom of this. He observes the pattern in which the thief carries out the robberies and attempted to decode it. The first theft. The second theft. This is the third heist. And here's the fourth theft. It is a fact that five robberies will occur on the fifth day. But which five houses? Mayhul looks at the houses carefully, immediately decodes the pattern, and figures out which of these five houses will be robbed next. Can you? Is it A, B, or C? Let's hop on to the answer. The next robbery will take place in the houses with pattern C. If you are smart enough to notice, the houses make a number pattern. One number is exactly the shape of Roman number one. Similarly, two Roman number is exactly the shape of number two, and it's the same for the other two. Now, the next robbery will take place in houses built in the shape of Roman number five. Let's hop on to the next riddle. The most beautiful artwork in the world was on display at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York. Everyone was drawn to the painting. Many people came to the museum only to see it. The next day, the painting goes missing. I need to contact Detective Mayhul to find out what's going on. The owner thinks to herself. Detective Mayhul arrives at the crime scene. The owner assures him that the museum had three guards last night. She suspected that one of them had stolen the picture. Detective Mayhul questions all three of them. Guard 1 says, I was patrolling on the outside, I don't know what happened. I only went inside once at night, to check on things. Guard 2 says, I was inside the museum last night, but I didn't particularly care about the painting. I have no idea who the thief is. Guard 3 says, I was patrolling outside the museum. I only went inside because I needed to use the restroom. I have no idea what happened. Detective Mayhul carefully records their statements and immediately understands who stole the painting. How, if you missed a clue, watch the video again. Can you work it out? Please share your response in the comments. Here's the solution. Look at their images, all three of them took a picture with the most beautiful painting in the world. Take note of the background in these images. Guards 1 and 2 had clicked the snapshot at the museum. However, the background in this image is different. Guard 3 took this photograph in his home. This implies that the iconic painting is now at Guard 3's house. Ben lives in a huge bungalow. One day, a robbery took place at his residence. He quickly calls Detective Mayhul to his house. Mayhul checks the house entrance and the lobby, but sees that the lock has not been broken. The thief broke into the house using the hidden key and committed robbery. Ben says, I had hidden the key underneath this large rock a few months ago. I believe the robbers were aware of this key. Mayhul realizes right away that Ben is lying. Why did Mayhul think so? Think about it and tell us your answer through comments. Let's see what happens. If such a big rock is kept in the garden, there won't be grass below it, but it has grass. This suggests that the stone was recently kept here. Mayhul understands that this is a fake robbery and that Ben is lying. Let's go on to the next riddle. Mr. Walter had a very boring day today because there were no customers in his shop. He was also very tired, so he dozed off on his counter. A man came into his shop while Walter was sleeping and noticed him. He stole $1,000 from the counter and fled. After some time, the man returned to Mr. Walter's shop and took $300 headphones. He gave him the same $1,000 note as payment. Walter took $1,000, kept $300, and returned $700 to the man. So, how much of a loss did Mr. Walter have? Let's see the answer. Mr. Walter lost a total of $1,000. The $1,000 note that was stolen came by to the shop, but then Walter gave headphones for $300 and returned $700, so that's considered a loss. Let's see the next riddle. Daniel has been murdered in his own home. 
This incident occurs around 4 p.m. His wife calls Detective Mayhul to her home right away. Mayhul arrives there and thoroughly inspects every corner of the house, but he doesn't find anything. He then questions the maid and the cook. The maid says, I went to sir's room around 3.30 to give coffee. I didn't go back after that. The cook says, I never go to Daniel sir's room. I was preparing dinner in the kitchen. Daniel's wife explains, I went to his room around 3.45. He was working on his computer and drinking his coffee at the time. Later, at 3.50 p.m., I went back to my room. Mayhul immediately realizes who must have committed the murder. How? Think and tell us your answer through comments. Let's see the answer. When Daniel's wife returned to her room at 3.50, the coffee mug was on Daniel's table. However, when he was killed, the coffee mug was not on the table, and only the maid could take it away. The cup can also be seen on the dining table. This means, the maid killed Daniel when she went to his room to take the cup. Mayhul immediately catches her. Let's see the next riddle. Martha rushes to the police station one day and pleads for help. Sam and I got married yesterday. We left early this morning for our honeymoon. We got stuck in a bog on the way, and our car couldn't move. We attempted to pull the car out, but were unsuccessful. I left Sam there and went exploring the jungle in search of help. He was dead when I returned. Explains Martha. Inspector Josh arrests her right away. Why? Why did he do that? Think about your answer and share it with me in the comments section. Here's the answer. There are two points that brought Inspector Josh to this conclusion. First, look at Martha carefully. She is wearing a white dress. How can it be so clean if they got stuck in the bog of mud in the middle of a jungle? Secondly, if they were stuck in the middle of the jungle and didn't receive any help, then how did she reach the police station? Interesting, wasn't it? Let's move on to the next one. It was a beautiful sunny day. Torvi decided to go shopping because it's been a long time since she had done so. She got dressed and went out early in the morning. Even though it was nearly evening, Torvi did not return home. Her husband kept calling her, but she didn't answer. He then calls Detective Mayhul and informs him that his wife Torvi went shopping at Hallmark Mall in the morning but hasn't yet returned home. He also tried to call her, but her phone is also out of service. Mayhul rushes over to the house and questions everyone. Torvi's daughter says, I was going to go shopping with mom today. But she cancelled the plan with me, and told me she was going with someone else. Her maid says, Today I was going shopping with ma'am, but she asked me to stay at home. Instead, she said she was going out with a friend. Her husband says, I've been in the office since afternoon. I tried calling her several times, but she never answered. When I got home, she wasn't there, so I called you. Torby's friend claims, She didn't ask me to go shopping. I was at home all day. You can also check my CCTV cameras. I don't know anything. Mayhul immediately understands who has done the kidnapping. How did he get it? Let's look at the answer. The maid is lying. She was not there at home. Look at the Hallmark Mall bags behind her. This clearly shows that she went shopping. Mayhul immediately catches her. Let's move on to the next riddle. Roger was stressed out because of his work. He was drinking tea while working. Hannah, bring my tea. He says to his daughter. She brings the teacup and leaves. After a while, the light goes out, and by the time it came back on, Roger was dead on the floor. Detective Mayhul rushes to the crime scene right away. He notices that Roger has left a clue before dying, which is the letter N A from the killer's name. Tina, Joshna, and Hannah are Roger's three daughters. All three of their names end with the letter N, A. Mayhul immediately realizes who must have killed Mr. Roger. How? Think and tell me your answer via comments. Let's have a look at the answer. When Roger died, he left N, A. And was holding T, which means Tina. Mayhul immediately catches her. Let's move on to the next riddle. A car was zooming away in full speed, to an extent that it broke all speeding rules. As a result, it gets chased by the police. 
The car stops near a restaurant and two young girls emerge from it. Inspector Gag blocks them outside and asks them, Which one of you was driving the car? You will get arrested for overspeeding. Both of them say in unison, It wasn't me, it was, it was her. her. Both of them start blaming each other, but Inspector Gag is able to figure out which one of them was driving the car. Can you guess? Let me know you answer in the comments. Let's now look at the answer. Look at this girl's shoes. How can someone drive so fast wearing heels? This means that this girl was overspeeding. Let's jump to the next riddle. Tom lives in a small town. He lives in a house with three roommates, John, Tony, and Jason. Today was Tom's birthday. Since the morning, he had been receiving birthday calls and gifts from friends and family. His father also sent him a gift. It was a very expensive watch. When his other roommates saw it, they were extremely jealous. Tom hides his watch above the cupboard, as he notices that all three had their eyes on it, later he fell asleep. John walks into Tom's room around 2.10 p.m. Tony walks into Tom's room around 2.30. And Jason walks into Tom's room around 3 o'clock. After some time, Tom wakes up and notices that his watch is missing from the cupboard. He begins looking for it. Tom then discovers the watch in the trash, but it is broken. Who broke my watch? He asks his roommates. All three, however, deny touching his watch. But, one of the three has damaged it. Can you figure out who did it? Think and let us know your answer through comments. Let's see what happens. Tom woke up around 4 p.m. and noticed the time on his broken watch. It was 2.35 p.m. Tony went to Tom's room around 2.30, which means he broke Tom's watch. Let's move on to the next riddle. One day, Mayhol's car breaks down. He needs to get to Don Bosco school right away. As a result, he decided to take a ride from someone. Two boys arrive there. I have to go to Don Bosco school. They both say. Yes, we are going there only. Mayhul checks their identification cards. He checks person A's ID card. He then checks person B's ID card. They are both Don Bosco students. Now, who do you think Mayhul should get a lift from? Person A or person B? Let's see the answer. He should get a ride from person A, look at person B's birth year, 2010. He is 13 years old. This means he is not legally allowed to drive a car. Let's move on to the next riddle. On a bright Sunday morning, three women were drying their laundry on the roadside. A tourist arrives there, who has come to see India. Her name is Stella. She is shocked to see all three ladies drying their clothes in this manner. She goes to the next locality. After some time, Stella realizes that her purse has been left behind, so she returns to the same place. When she arrives, her purse had gone missing. There were only three ladies around her. That means that one of them has taken her purse. Can you tell who stole it by looking at these ladies? Think and let me know your answer by commenting. Let's see the answer. Take a look at the bucket nearby. The first lady's bucket was half full when the tourist arrived there for the first time, and it is now full. That means she's hiding the wallet inside. Stella places her hand inside the bucket and finds her purse. Let us move on to the next riddle. One morning, Rick was murdered. Detective Mayhul reaches the crime scene immediately. As he enters Rick's house, he finds some clues. Hmm. The murderer must have entered through the window, killed Rick and escaped. There were four people present in the house at the time of the murder. Mayhul decides to interrogate all of them. The maid says, I have been busy cleaning and dusting since morning. I don't know anything. The cook says, Sir, I have been in the kitchen preparing food. I don't know anything too. Rick's daughter Lily says, Sir, even I don't know anything about dad's murder. Rick's wife Lorraine says, Sir, I was on the terrace, exercising. I don't know anything. Upon hearing all the statements, Detective Mayhul instantly understands who killed Rick. Can you guess? Let us know in the comments below.
Let's now look at the answer. Rick's wife killed him. Shoe prints were found on the crime scene and, out of the four people, only she is wearing shoes. This means that she sneaked inside the room through the window and committed the crime. Mayhul arrests her immediately. Let's jump to the next riddle. Please take a careful look at these two pictures and tell me who the killer is, A or B? If you observe the knife in B's pocket, you'll notice that it has blood on it, indicating that B is the killer. For more riddles like this, please consider subscribing to Mind Your Logic.